I think I'm most proud of giving voice and language to the outstanding work that nurses do daily um, and to bring in from the margins in a non-sentimental way the power of both their instrumental actions and their caring practices because the technology is dangerous and often overwhelming without the caring practices, without the coaching, without the bearing witness, without the support that nurses offer to patients in the trenches of sometimes what are horrendous therapies, um, horrendous to withstand and horrendous illnesses and injuries. So um, that's what I'm most proud of, is just to try to make visible um, also the lived experience of the patient in recovering because the medical pathophysiological account doesn't tell the whole story. Um, the patient, for example, we just uh, did a work with um, Helena Sunvison and and uh, several uh, uh, Sarah Weiss and Barbara Haberman Little, who had studied um, patients with Parkinson's disease. And we found from studying the patient's experiential learning that there were many, many different ways that they coped with the pathophysiology of Parkinson's disease. Um, for example, they could discover they can often run when they can't walk. They can bicycle when they can't walk or run, or they can uh, button their shirt if they jump up and down at the same time. Um, so learning the impact of life world, of embodied skilled know-how, and lived experience even for patients as well as for nurses. Um, I still have you know, a lot of unfinished projects that I'd love to have time to work on.